Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from thebiblicalnutritionist.com and today we're going to make a Mediterranean barley salad. I am all about anytime I can have any one of the seven foods of the promised land on the table, then I'm excited. I know I'm feeding my family well. I know I have talking points to bring up God's goodness and this is going to be one of those recipes. <music> So today we're going to make the Mediterranean barley salad. And if you haven't already, I hope you've subscribed to this channel. I hope you have shared it with 10 of your friends. And that is how we're going to share the message around the world is that God loves you. And he loves you with an amazing everlasting love. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he always has a place in his heart for you. We're going to start with making our sauce first. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of pomegranate molasses. We are going to be using this on several different recipes in my new, new book that's coming out, Seven Foods of the Promised Land. So we, you need to know how to make it. To this, we're going to go ahead and add just a bit of salt and pepper. We're kind of making the dressing first. We're going to add in our cinnamon and cumin. So the salt and pepper, pretty much it's by your own personal preference. So maybe a half a teaspoon of salt and a couple of shakes or grinding of the pepper. The cinnamon is one half a teaspoon and then just about a quarter teaspoon of cumin. I know that's a little bit unusual, but that's what we're going to add into this. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. And what we're going to do is just whisk these ingredients together. We just need to blend the molasses in well with the olive oil and the seasonings will do their trick. Okay, yum. Now we're just going to go ahead and toss in our barley. So I have one and a half of cooked, one and a half cups of cooked barley. Blend that in really well with our sauce. Now we're going to add some currants. If you don't have currants or you find them hard to find, just go ahead and use raisins. You can get, use golden raisins. You could even use some dehydrated blueberries. That would be an excellent choice. I love to use currants whenever possible because they're just, um, they're tiny, they're sweet. Um, they surprise my guests, like what is that? <laughs> so anytime we can bring food into the conversation and God's goodness, it's a good, it's a good chance to um, share God's love. All right, now to this, we're gonna go ahead and toss in our cilantro. So we have one fourth of a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. And I can guarantee you this is very fresh because it is really, it has a strong aroma, which means it is good and it tastes delicious. And then we're gonna add some feta cheese. So I'm adding about, you could use a fourth or a half a cup of feta cheese. I'm gonna add this to the bowl, stir this in, and that just gives us that salt creamy texture to our salad. All right, there we have our salad. Now, if you wanted to let this sit and let the flavors kind of, you know, meld together, marinate each other, then I would let it sit for a minimum of 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, or you could even let it sit overnight and serve it the next day. So then when you're ready to serve, I like making a bed of lettuce just because it, bring, it makes the colors pop a little bit more. And then you would just, you know, this is gonna make about three to four servings. Put some on a bed of lettuce. There we go. Now, remember the seven foods of the promised land. We've already used barley and we've used olive oil. So we have two. Now we're gonna to top it with some pomegranate seeds. They're also called arils which is the official word. And then you have a choice of nuts and I'm gonna use almonds and you could use almonds or pistachios and decorate it like that. Now remember in the story in Genesis chapter 43, Jacob needed, they were out of food. It was a famine. It was a famine in the land and remember Joseph was in Egypt controlling the food that everyone would have. Well, in, in Genesis 43, 
In verse 11, it says, Then their father Israel said to them, If it must be so, then do this. Now, here's where we want you to pay attention. Take some of the best products of the land in your bags and carry down to the man as a present. A little balm, a little honey, aromatic, aromatic gum, myrrh, and pistachio nuts and almonds. And so remember there's a famine going on. So the honey in this chapter would be the wildflower honey. The honey in the promised land is the date honey. And so the more you go to Israel and you study there, you learn the differences in the different uh, verses in the Bible. So by serving this, we're reminding that God provided. He provided by having a gift to take to the king in, in Egypt. And that was part of the almonds and the honey that they had. And so when we recognize almonds are a gift, they can be given as a gift. They are a representation of an, a peace offering. They're a representation of forgiveness. And we can always teach our family this. We can teach our children and our grandchildren all of the goodness that God has. And we have the pomegranate seeds, which is gonna be part of the story going back into the promised land. And it's just beautiful how God paints a picture of how much he cares for us and, to, and loves us and, and just um, how much grace he gives us. All right, so that's our Mediterranean barley salad. I hope you try it and make it for yourself and for your family. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to. And so I just wanna thank you for letting me share this recipe with you so you too can enjoy God's recipe for excellent health. Until next time.